the world first NICU. How newborn intensive care unit was born. You see tiny babies and incubator and think hospital always had this. But the NICU, the neonatal intensive care unit is one of the modern medicine's youngest miracle. Today I will tell you who built the first one, why it mattered and how that single idea changed survival for millions of newborn around the world. Hello, I am Umer Khan from Royal Nursery Unit and Children's Hospital. If you care about babies or healthcare, this story will change how you think about hospitals. This is not just medical history. It's a story of invention, stubborn doctors, public spectacles, and humanity. Let's begin at the incubator. The problem, newborns without technology. Until the late 19th century, many premature babies were simply not expected to survive. Care was mostly at home, mothers and midwives. That started to change when a French doctor, Stephen Dernier, created the first practical incubator in 1880 to keep the babies warm. But the incubator alone wasn't enough. Hospitals were slow to adopt in the early 90s. A controversial figure, Mr. Martin Coney, took incubators to the public fairs and Coney Island and saved babies in a carnival tent. It sounds strange, but it raised awareness and demonstrated that incubators worked. Special care baby units before the NICU. Through the 1920s to 1950s, hospitals began grouping newborn and special care baby units. Technology slowly improved. Better oxygen control, heating, nursing, but these units were not the intensive multidisciplinary NICU we know today. The turning point, the first modern NICU. Then came the decisive step in October 1960. Dr. Lewis Gluck opened what is credited as the first modern neonatal intensive care unit. At Yale New Haven Hospital, Gluck redesigned newborn care, centralizing monitors, staffing with special trained pediatrician and nurse, and treating newborns like critically ill patients, not just small adults. This is the birth of the NICU as a medical specialty. Spread and structure. NICU go global. Once the model proved itself, more hospital built intensive care nurseries. For example, USCF created its intensive care nursery in the mid of 1960s and units spread across the US, the UK, Europe and beyond. By the 1970s, NICU had become standard in developed countries game-changing therapist and technology. The NICU power came from technology and drugs. A landmark came in 1980s. The first successful trials of surfactant therapy for neonatal respiratory distress syndrome. Surfactant suddenly held mortality for many preterm infants. A true revolution. Other advances improved ventilators, CPA, better infection control, and neonatal transport teams are layered on the NICU model to improve survival. Human revolution, kangaroo care, and family-centered NICU. Not everything that changed neonatal survival was high-tech. In Bogota, in the late 1970s, doctors introduced kangaroo mother care, skin-to-skin -skin contact, to keep low-end babies warm and bonded when incubators were unavailable. This low tick idea spread worldwide and is now a cornerstone of family-centered care. What a modern NICU look like. Today, NICU is multidisciplinary, neonatologist, nurses, respiratory therapist, pharmacist, nutritionist, physiotherapist, and social workers. It's a highly technical, but also very human. Parents are included 
and care general care as a routine and long term follow up program trait development the impact life saves and limits because of nicu survival of preterm babies has increased dramatically but nicu are not magic survival varies by resources infection control and long term rehab access worldwide in equity means many regions still need basic neonatal care and there the simple idea kangaroo care training medvice oxygen system still save lives lessons and the future three lessons from this history innovation comes from necessity incubators kangaroo care and surfactant each answer a practical need design matters a place designed to monitor and respond save lives care is both tick and touch the best nicu combine cutting edge medicine with the family bond the future smarter monitors less and basic breathing support till in icu new bonds and better follow up to ensure survivors through not just survive if you found the story useful share it with the friend to be subscribe for more medical deep dives and tell me in the comment which icu innovation surprised you most Thank you for watching respect the hospital support responsible neonatal care and remember a tiny life can change how the whole world care